Hey everybody, Dr. Darren Smith here. Wanted to clarify some of the weird marketing terminology that comes up in plastic surgery, specifically with reference to liposuction. So there are a lot of terms thrown around with liposuction and one that we get asked about a lot is called Sonabello or Trisculpt. So Sonabello is a large company um, that you can call and they'll refer you to different surgeons to do your liposuction procedure. So Sonabello is not a type of liposuction. It's a big company that will refer you to different doctors to do your procedure. And it's important to do your homework because not all of those people are board certified plastic surgeons. So Sonabello, um, not a kind of liposuction, it's a company. The other thing that comes up a lot is the term tri-sculpt. And again, tri-sculpt is just a marketing term for a kind of liposuction that is done by Sonabello. So tri-sculpt refers to laser liposuction. And what is laser liposuction? So every kind of liposuction begins with tiny little incisions that are made. Numbing medicine is um, added to the treatment area. And then a long thin instrument called a cannula is used to remove the extra fat. Great. Now, we can add different kinds of energy to liposuction to tighten the skin, to tighten deep tissue, and sometimes to melt the fat um, or soften scar tissue to help us get the results that we want to get. So, Trisculpt is a marketing term for laser-assisted liposuction. Laser-assisted liposuction is a relatively old form of energy-based liposuction. The other kinds of liposuction um, with energy that we actually prefer are called body tight, which uses radio frequency energy to tighten skin, um, or uh, vaser ultrasound technology, which is used to tighten the deep tissue. So Trisculpt is a marketing term from Sanabello that describes laser-assisted liposuction, which is a relatively old technology. There, there are a couple important things to understand about Trisculpt and how it's marketed. So it's often implied that Trisculpt is less invasive than traditional liposuction, um, when in fact it's done exactly the same way with the addition of this laser energy. So there are still incisions made, fat is still suctioned out, it's not a non-invasive body contouring procedure, it's a minimally invasive body contouring procedure, just like regular liposuction is. The other thing about Sonabello and Trisculpt is that it is often marketed that Trisculpt is so simple that it can be done wide awake. The truth is that any liposuction procedure within reason can be done awake in a lot of scenarios. I personally don't really like to do the procedure that way because I think it's less comfortable for the patient. And if the patient is uncomfortable, one, that's bad you know, on its own. And two, I can't be aggressive and get as good a result. So with Trisculpt and Sonabello, they do keep you awake, and the reason is essentially it's less expensive for the company to do things that way. It's also subject to less regulatory scrutiny if they're not using real anesthesia. Um, what I like to do, and what a lot of board-certified plastic surgeons like to do, is work with a board-certified anesthesiologist to come up with a customized plan for each patient. In short, for smaller areas of liposuction, it's very reasonable to do the procedure awake, but for these larger procedures, Everybody's often better off if the patient is either completely asleep with general anesthesia or very commonly in um, a twilight state with twilight anesthesia or IV sedation is actually the same kind of anesthesia that's used for colonoscopy. So I hope that clears up some of the marketing terminology around liposuction and hit us up in the comments if you have any questions. And as always, remember to subscribe to the channel and like this video.